feature of who I am. Yeah. So, so I am on the the Garden State Parkway in New Jersey, and I am heading to a client to do some real estate work. Uh, it's commercial stuff. It's not residential, and I am a little under the weather. So this should be an interesting day. I feel like not good. <laughs> I packed with me the Nikon Z6, which I'm recording with right now, with the one lens, the 24 to 70 f/4. Uh, I have the Nikon D850 with a 20 millimeter lens for any rooms that are really compact. I have a tripod. I have the DJI Osmo Mobile because I'm going to be teaching the client on how to use the DJI Osmo Mobile for their own work. Yeah, so I plan on getting some behind the scenes footage, hopefully, and we'll see how the day goes. I'm ready to call it a day ready. Now, I'm not even there yet, because I just feel that horrible. person who was evicted here was apparently Section 8 and foster home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just spent the day driving around with the client and photographing a bunch of their properties that they own and rent. Some of them are in areas that are not known for being the safest, but they're getting better and better over the years. What just happened was there was a lockout, meaning an eviction was approved. The sheriff came to do a walkthrough to make sure that the tenant was out of the house, and then all of the locks and whatnot were changed. And as we walked through the house, we saw how it was left, and it wasn't left in great shape. It actually smelled like drugs in there, uh, certain drugs. And I saw needle, not needles, but like the caps to needles on the floor and beds all over the place. Turned out that the tenant was a foster, foster mom, foster whatever you want to call her. She was, she fostered kids and she was also, also Section 8, which meant she got assistance from the government for her rent and things like that. By getting evicted, she lost her Section 8 status and hopefully she can no longer be a foster person because the way that it was left was horrendous absolutely horrendous I, I can't imagine kids living in that type of environment so it was quite sad so my job was to photograph the properties from the outside and two of them we went inside and the one that you just saw oh boy it, it was sad. as as somebody who is in the process of adopting and somebody who is a father, I, I just can't imagine letting kids sleep and live and do their schoolwork and just be, exist in an environment like that. It's just sad. So that's all I have to say about it.